Today what I'm here to talk to you guys about is recognizing opportunities and taking advantage of them. And the subtopic is just do it. Like Nike. Okay, with me. I'm gonna tell you guys about a story about a young man who went to my high school, Cass Technical High School. So, shout out Cass Tech. So, um, this young man wanted to be a national recording artist. He wanted to be a major label recording artist. And so, what he did was he started going to the different radio stations and he would just freestyle battle at these radio stations. And so, once he started to get a name for himself, uh, his friend called him one day and he was like, hey man, it's this major rap artist down here at the radio station, bro. You need to get here quick. And so he's like, man, I don't really want to do that, bro. You're not, that, that rap artist not trying to listen to me. I'm just a little old me from Detroit, Michigan, trying to get my name up. He ain't trying to listen to me. So then he thought about it for a little bit. He's like, man, I'm going to go check that out. So he went down to the radio station, snuck through security, and now he's in front of this rap artist. He's like, oh my goodness, bro. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it's like, I'm in front of you right now. You my favorite rap artist, bro. I listen to you every morning. Is there any way that I could just rap for you real quick, man? Can I give you like, like eight bars? I just want to give you eight bars, man. He's like, I ain't trying to listen to you, man. I got things to do. I got places to go. So he's like, dang. But he ran up to me like, hey man, please, please, let me just rap like eight bars to you. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm gonna give you eight bars. You gotta rap it to me after you're walking out. So he started spitting. Eight bars, eight bars turned into 16 bars. 16 bars turned into 10 straight minutes of fire, y'all. Spitting that fire. <laughs> and so, the rap artist, he's like, all right, man, I rock with you. And you guys know that young man as Big Sean, and that rap artist that he's rapping to is Kanye West. Right, right? So, what I'm trying to tell you guys is recognize opportunities and take advantage of them. Fear is not real, guys. Fear is not real. Fear is only the feeling of uncertainty and whatever the outcome may be. You're not scared. You just don't know what's going to happen. And so what you got to do is you just got to find out, guys. You got to find out. You got to recognize that Big Sean recognized the opportunity way before Kanye West ever came to the picture. Big Sean was rapping and freestyling before he had any idea that Kanye was coming to Detroit. He was on his grind, guys. Realize, recognize, and respond. All right, I need y'all to get this. I need y'all to get this. Realize, recognize, and respond. You have to realize that there is an opportunity. And opportunities are all the way, it's all around us. Recognize that you have the power to take advantage of it. You have the power to seize that opportunity. And then from there, you just gotta respond, guys. Fear is not real. Don't be scared, respond, act on it. You recognize it, you know that you should talk to my man. You know that he got the opportunities for you to do whatever your life passion is, your dream is. Talk to him. What's the worst that could happen? This is the life changer, guys, right here. If you don't get nothing else out of this conversation right now, out of this discussion right now, I need you to get this right here. This is a life changer. You have to learn how to change your thinking. Learn how to change your thinking. Write this down, guys. Make sure you write this down. You have to train your mind to recognize negative thoughts. And what are you saying? Well, Mike, what is a negative thought? My negative thought might be different than yours. A negative thought is anything that makes you feel ashamed or guilty. And once you recognize that negative thought, then you have to choose rather to accept it or to deny it or replace it. And this goes with all things in life. Back in 2014, um, I was going through life and I, I really wasn't taking responsibility for my life. I was making bad decisions, you know. You know, I've, I've been your age before, you know. I've been doing childish things before. Not perfect, guys. I know y'all look at me like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you, you cool. You ain't that bad. Nah, man, I was, I was making bad decisions, guys. 
And so, one of the things that really would haunt me, and I think about it a lot, and I would never want to do this again, I, I accepted that I was a lazy person. And this is deep, guys. I accepted that I was a lazy person, not because I was actually a lazy person, it was because I had lazy thoughts. I made lazy decisions. I'm not a lazy person. I made lazy decisions. And once I realized that and took control of my decision making, from there, it was easy. It's like, okay, Mike, you gotta get up for class? Get up, bro. Like, you're not, you're not lazy. You just make a lazy decision to sit in the bed for 10 extra minutes, hit the snooze. 10 extra minutes, hit the snooze. 10 extra minutes, hit the snooze. And now you're late for class. Just do it, man. And it's funny because they, li they like to say that you, you are what you eat. But it's not you are what you eat, guys. It's you are what you think. You are what you think. Change your thinking. So it's, I would be, you know, kicking it. You know, I'm in my dorm room, chilling, feet up, watching SpongeBob, you know. And so my friends would call me, they were like, hey Mike, bro, we got this, this event that we're trying to go to, like, we trying to, we trying to go turn up, bro, we about to have some fun. And I'd be like, ah. I mean, I gotta, don't get dressed. I got to hop in the shower. I got to figure out what I'm going to wear. Like, I don't feel like doing none of that right now. And so what I said to them, I was like, oh, you know, actually, I'm over here, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to cook some crabby patties. I mean, it's not crab I'm about to cook some salmon patties. Uh, so y'all go ahead without me, man. I got, I got some plans. It really ain't had nothing to do. If you don't feel like studying, study. It's that simple. Man, I don't feel like studying. Boom! You recognize the negative thought? Grab your notes. Grab your book. It's not, it is what it is. A lot of people like to say, oh man, it is what it is. Man, it is what it is, man. It's not, it is what it is. It is what you make it. This is powerful, guys. This is powerful. It is what you make it. A lot of opportunity may not seem ideal. Opportunities are not going to always be the funnest thing, the, the funnest option, the, the most exciting thing that you could do. But it's still an opportunity. You have to recognize that it's still an opportunity and still take advantage of it. If you want to go to the party, all your friends about to go to the party, but you recognize that you got homework or you got some studying to do, you got a project that's due in a couple days, even though it don't seem like that's the most fun thing to do, <clears throat> that's an opportunity for you guys. You gotta recognize it and take advantage of it. Do your work, man. All right, so write this down. Everybody write this down. Do what you need to do now so that you can spend forever doing what you want to do later. You may see your peers clowning in class, you know? You and, you, you and your boys sit in the back of the classroom. Your boys come to class every day and they, they like bozo the clown, like we about to come in here and we about to act a plum fool every day. We don't like this teacher, like we just about to have fun. If they're gonna do that guys, that's them. That's their decision to make. You still have control of yourself. Peer pressure is real, but peer pressure is not uh, concrete. You don't have to do what your peers want you to do. If they acting a fool, get your work done. So that then at the end of the year, these are gonna be the same kids who scrambling to get all their work and all the assignments together and get their projects, get their extra credit turned in so they can get a passing grade. But if you handle your business, now at the end of the year while they scrambling, you chilling, you clowning. Cause you good, you got an A or a B. It's like, hey, I feel bad for you, bruh, but. Saying. It was funny in the beginning, wasn't it, huh? Ah! <laughs> it was funny, right? It's funny now. Now you get to chill. Any opportunity is a perfect opportunity. Any opportunity is a perfect opportunity. Do not try to wait for the perfect opportunity and think that it's just going to jump at you, jump in your face. Any opportunity is a perfect opportunity, guys. And another word for opportunity, 
Anybody? <laughs> chances. Another word for opportunity is chances. Take a chance. Take a chance. Now, you know, I listen to rap music, you know, every now and then, every now and again I listen to it. And the Boys Cash Out is a group from Detroit, you know, so I listen to them every now and again. Not too much, you know. I try to keep some, some good music in my ears. But when I do listen to them, one time I was listening and I heard them say, chances make champions. And that hit me in my soul. I'm like, ooh, that marinated with me. Chances make champions? I'm like, ooh, I like that. Chances make champions. You got to take a chance, guys. Take a chance. Fear's not real. Take a chance. If you got the opportunity to study for a test, but you're tired, I bet you wouldn't be tired if the new episode of Empire was coming on, right? I woke up, like, hey, I'm about to watch this episode. I want to see what's going to happen. Let's see what Cookie going to do. Come on, y'all. This is about priorities. And who all in here want to be a baller? Who all want to play some sports? Who plays sports in here? So if you want to play sports and you want to get better, but you don't want to go to practice because uh, I don't like my coach. Uh, I, don't like, I don't like my point guard. You don't be trying to pass the ball. Or I don't like, I don't like my, my uh, coach because she always hard on me. How you going to get better if you're not going to practice? Then you hear that a scout from Michigan State coming to practice that day. Oh, you in there. Like, hey. Ugh. I'm trying to be like Steph Curry, shooting in the gym. <laughs> but you ain't been to practice all year. The scout gonna come in and he gonna be like, he was whack. He can shoot, but he don't even know how to run a play. I'm gonna coach him. Go to practice, guys. If you wanna be better, practice. And this goes with everything in life. Practice what you do. Practice your passion. Stop being average. That's average, man. You got to be great. Be great at everything. Set that example for all your peers. Set that example for all your family. Be that one that they look to and be like, dang. Well, I know so-and-so doing it. She's doing her thing. He's doing his thing, so I got to step it up. Stop being average, guys. Greatness is in every single one of you. Greatness is in every single one of you. But the catch is, average is in every single one of you too. You gotta learn how to choose the right thing. Learn how to choose to be great and stop choosing to be average so much. It's gonna change your lives, guys. Back in 2014, I realized that I'm just choosing to be average. That's whack. That's lame. Ain't nobody trying to be average for their whole life. Raise your hand if you got a dream in here. We all got dreams, man. Let's make them happen. Ain't nobody dream coming to them from them being average. Unless you got an average dream. <laughs> nah, that's whack, that's bro. I don't want no average dream. I want to be able to tell you my dream and you look at me like, it's not gonna happen, cuz. Like, it's just, it's not gonna happen. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I like to hear that. I like to hear that you don't think that my dream's gonna happen. <clears throat> Set an example, guys. Look to your neighbor real quick. Tell them, say, I am not average. I am not average. <laughs> Tell them, say, I am great. I am great. Yes. Everybody close your eyes real quick. Let's just all close our eyes. <clears throat> Listen to my voice. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everybody. Think of your dream. Think of what your passion is. Think of what your purpose is. Think of what your goals in life are. So now that you know what you want, you know what you desire, you got to see it, hear it. Smell it. Feel it. Alright, open your eyes. 
What is your dream? What is your dream, guys? And raise your hand if you don't know what your dream is. If you just close your eyes and it was just like, just black, man. <laughs> Okay, it's important to figure it out. You gotta figure out what your dream is. Because if you don't know what your dream is, you're gonna you're willing to accept anything. <clears throat> These are the people who wake up every morning hating life. They mad they gotta get up and go to their job. They don't get from their job, they gotta go. Eat, and they gotta go home, go to bed, rinse and repeat every single day, and they, I'm not gonna say that word, they mad, guys. They upset with life because they just accepting whatever life is bringing to them because they don't know what they want. They don't know what their dream is. If they know what their dream is, they're not acting on it, they're not doing it. That's not, that's not how life has to be for anybody in here. Everybody in here can wake up every morning and be so excited to jump up off that bed because you know that you got your dream to tackle today. You know that your purpose is about to get tackled today. Write this down. Anybody in here who close their eyes and they're like, oh, this ain't black, this is green. My dream is money. Money is not a dream, guys. Sorry to kill it. Money is not a dream. Money is nothing but a byproduct of adding value to yourself and to society. Your dream should be something that's going to add value to yourself and to society. And then from that, money is just going to is is going to happen. It's just the way that the world works. Once you learn how to help other people, they're going to pay you for that. So figure out what your dream is and how it's going to add value to yourself <laughs> and to the society around you. You can't keep dreaming without a how. How do you know what your dream is? You got to figure out how to get it done. Figure out what steps do I need to take. This is something that you got to think about, guys. Think about how you're going to get this done. Because if you're dreaming without a how, it's just a dream. We need to make this come to reality. We need to make this happen. We gotta follow through. Follow through. And it's funny because even in sports, when you follow through, it's important. That's how you play. Like if you if you're on the court and you go and you cross, you cross over the point guard, you cross over all of the four players on the court. You get to the rack and you go to shoot your shot and you don't follow through with it. And it clang off the backboard. Don't nobody care if you just eyeball everybody on the court. That don't matter. So what you just broke a couple ankles? You ain't hit the shot, cuz. You ain't hit the shot, we hit the point. How are we gonna win? You gotta follow through. And this goes with everything in life. You gotta follow through. You see your vision, follow through with it. So preparation is not a waste of time. I want to get that out of everybody's head. <clears throat> preparation is not a waste of time. Don't be afraid to prepare for something, even if the opportunity may not present itself. It's not a waste of time. You got to start now. Don't wait. The early bird gets the worm, right? The early bird gets the worm, and the second mouse gets the cheese. And that's, that's it's weird because you're like, well, if I'm going to be the early bird to get the worm, how would be the second mouse? Like, I got to be the first mouse, right? Basically, what that means is learn from people's mistakes. Learn from people's mistakes. The second mouse got the cheese because the first mouse ran out there, and he got trapped. So now you see that, you know, okay. Oh my gosh, that's right. Let me grab this cheese. Because I've seen what you did. Don't be out with your friends or be out with your uncles and you see them hanging out on the corner, see them hanging out on the porch all day. And you doing the same thing that they doing and they tell you about it. They tell you all oh, they would have, could have, should have. 
I don't want nobody in here to be a woulda, coulda, shoulda. Nobody in here needs to be a woulda, coulda, shoulda. Make it happen. And I don't know about y'all, man. I don't know about y'all. But I'm gonna get up and get it. Every single morning, I'm gonna get up and get it. If y'all don't want the word, if y'all don't want to be the early bird, hey, by all means, that's fine with me. Cause I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna get it. Hey, more words for me, the more the merrier, right? That's how the rest of the world thinks. They wait on y'all to not do nothing. The more the merrier, the more words for them. <clears throat> What's the worst that can happen? If you create a goal and you go after your dream and you seize the opportunity, what's the worst that can happen? Somebody tell you no. So, cool, you told me no, cool. Fear is not real, don't be afraid. Fear is not real, fear is uncertainty. You just don't know what's going to happen. So it creates a feeling, it's the emotion inside of you, but it's not real, it's just that you don't know. So find out, just find out, guys. Your dreams, and this is from my mentor, hey, Pastor Matt, good guy. He said, don't bring your dreams down to the level of your thinking. Bring your thinking up to the level of your dreams. And what that means is that just because you think an average right now, <clears throat> if you think an average, don't bring your dreams down to an average. Level. Like, oh, let's go. I'm doing this, this, and this right now, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to recalculate what I want to do. Bring your dreams. I mean, bring your thinking up to level your dreams. If you have great dreams, start to have great thinking. You're not gonna get a great dream by thinking average. It's just not how it happens. Unless your family rich or something. I don't know about y'all, my family's not rich, so I gotta get it. So, you gotta stop thinking average, start thinking great. Not all opportunities are gonna be for a game either. A lot of opportunities can come to you where it's just an opportunity for you to be a blessing to somebody else. Take those opportunities, take the opportunity to be humble and to bless somebody else's life. This is what the world is about, man. Be a good person, guys. We got enough bad people out here. We need some more good people that's willing to take the time to actually become a blessing to somebody. You gotta recognize when it's a time to help others and when it's a time to help yourself make the world a better place. Average people know how to help themselves. Average people can help themselves all day. But it takes a great person to help somebody else. And you're probably thinking, well, Mike, <clears throat> hey, Mike, I'm not really scared. It's not that I'm scared, cuz. I, I don't really get scared like that. But it is, but it is just, you know, sometimes I just forget. I just forget that the opportunities are all around me. I just be chilling, like, I'm just living life. It is cool. We forget sometimes. But a wise man once told me that. If you are short-minded, you need to become long a pencil. If you forget a lot of things, write it down. You got the notebooks. We got notepads. Everybody here got a notepad on their phone. If you know something you need to remember, boom, boom, boom. Quick, put it in your phone. Make sure that you remember it for later. They say that yesterday's past is history. Tomorrow's future is a mystery, but today and right now is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Dear Lord, please bless these young people today. Please grant them the serenity to show them the way. Please guide their minds. Please guide their thoughts. Help them to respect everything and everyone whom they ought. Please protect them as they go to and from and give them the ambition to prove to the world how far they have come. Amen.